Everybody's left, senior quarterback, Stephon Marshall. Everybody's right, senior linebacker, Victor Alexander. We'll go right after questions. Taquan, I imagine it was nice to, to not play a full game again and really get the offense, get some momentum going. Yeah, it was, um, it was nice being able to kind of step back and watch everybody else play, watch everybody else have fun. Um, we got a really fast start today, so I was really excited about that. And just things just started going. How important was it for you confidence-wise to get that first football pass, perfect pass? Um, just what does it do confidence-wise when you do a great pass, pass like that? Um, it definitely will boost your confidence a little bit more. Uh, going into it, I mean, my confidence was already high. Um, Jalen ran a good route. I just shot to put the ball in place for him to catch it. And came up to be a big play, and it kind of got our offense rolling. Vic, can you run us through the, uh, the bubble play and did they turn you loose, or you know, what transpired during that play for you? Um, great call by Willie Woody. Um, at that point in time, I didn't know I had to get back there. It was a play before that I got back there, but he got it off like, just a second before I could hit him. I was like, okay, yeah, they got to try to come back to that and try to see if it worked again. So that very next play, or maybe two plays out, I knew I had to get off that line quick enough to get to the quarterback and hit him as hard as I possibly could. Dropped the ball, tried to get up and get it myself, but uh, uh, Twan came up, always came up and scooped it and started running. So it all worked out. Uh, Taquan, uh, coach last week indicated he was going to work on some more fundamentals with the QBs. Um, I think you guys did that at practice. Uh, how well did you see that kind of play out in the, in the game? How did that translate um, today? It worked out well. I mean, as you can see, we didn't have any balls on the ground with any pitches. So, um, I think the correlation between me and the eight bank was pretty good. Um, I think sometimes we were a little close, but it worked out. I just tried to put the ball in their hands so they could run. Vic, it seemed like y'all had some trouble getting lined up in the first quarter on defense and maybe weren't getting the play maybe fast enough, or I'm not sure what kind of was the issue there for you guys. Um, it was it was a, a thing of tempo. You know, we practice all week on tempo, uh, but you can practice and prepare for a lot of things, but when the game comes or when something happens, you know, you just, you know, sometimes you're a little slow. Uh, but we were, we were able to adjust and quickly uh, get back together and figure out what was going on and fix it. And uh, that's what transpired in the second half. Taquan, last week you put a lot of emphasis on winning games on the road and then starts a short week. What will you know, you want to be one of the leaders on this team. What would the conversation be like as you guys feel not really guys prepared to do that? Uh, I won't have to say too much. Everybody knows what this game means. Um, I just told the guys, everybody's always talking about a big primetime game. You got one. Friday night, the only game they'll probably be on, 7 o'clock. They're wearing all black, so their stadium will be jumping. I mean, that's what you play college football for. It'll be, it'll be rocking, so everybody will be ready to play. I don't really have to say too much to them. For both of you, how helpful is it that you got pulled early and got a chance to rest your bodies a little bit, given the short week? Um, it's it's all right. I mean, you, you still prepare the same way. Uh, you still have to take care of your body the same way because you know, getting in the game, you still get beat up a little bit. So um, starting tomorrow, I'll be doing the same thing I've been doing every week. But it, although it's a shorter week, I'll probably add a little more things in just to help myself out. Did you know that? After Clinton had made the reception, that didn't make history, and if so, what was said in the huddle after? Um, definitely did. Uh, we actually talked about it before the game, actually a couple of days before the game. Um, I mean, we didn't say anything then. We just kind of waited until the drive was over, but everybody was congratulating him, just talking about how, how much of a playmaker he is and, and just joking around a little bit on the sidelines. But uh, super proud of him. I mean, first guy to, to ever do it right. Um, yeah, that's a huge accomplishment. You'll see more coming for sure. You mentioned that a couple times you felt you may have been a little too close to the A back on the pitch. Uh, was the plan this week to maybe close the separation on the pitch? Um, the whole plan was the, when I was getting downhill, those guys were getting downhill with me so that we'd be on the same level so that I wasn't pitching the ball backwards or anything. It was, I was just pitching to where they could run up under it. So um, it kind of worked out in our favor. With just Sounds like you made your option reads better and were more secure with the ball. Like how do you explain that sort of jump from the to the next? Um, 
I mean, we knew we could do it all along. It was just the, just those little things were killing us. So we really harped on it and emphasized on it this week. That way we knew going to the game. As long as we did those things, we've been moving the ball down the field. That's not, that hasn't been a problem. But once we can eliminate those mistakes, then things will start going. And I mean, before halftime, we'll be four for four on drives. I mean, you can't really beat that. Uh, on the pass to Steven, did you just happen to see him later? When you did see him, I'm guessing you overstepped or what happened? Uh, well, I saw him. I knew, I knew one of them was going to be open. Um, I saw Steve get open, but then I, I kind of felt a little pressure in the pocket. So I just tried to step around it, and then I threw it off my back foot for sure. If I had to probably step into it, I probably could have thrown it to him on the run. But I was just trying to get it to him because I saw how wide open he was. A couple more for Taquan and Vic. Uh, Taquan, you, you, uh, you had probably your best passing game since I think Jacksonville State last year. Uh, what was kind of going into that? How did you kind of get into a rhythm and, and get it going in the field? Um, well, I've, I've always known I've had the ability to pass the ball. Um, the guys up front did an awesome job giving me plenty of time. Um, and I really over exercised this week, just get it deep in the pocket so I give myself a little bit more room and I could see things a lot better. Um, but I was just trying to place the ball in a place where the guys could could catch it. And I mean, they, they ran some pretty awesome routes today to, to get themselves open. So um, they did a great job and I just was trying to put the ball in the right place. Knowing that uh, going from last week to this week, it was a big focus on getting better. What did you guys do individually uh, to work on getting better this week? And how they offer you what you had? Well, uh, we're just starting to practice. Uh, every game that we win or lose, we always bless it every Monday. Uh, just preparing for the next game. This one, I know the focus was a lot more there, pretty much. Um, guys on the in the secondary, linebackers, D-line, folks, all we know. They knew what their job, they knew what the assignment was, and what they had to do. They play it back in their head, day after day after day, until the day finally came, they had to do their job. You see, not there, defense was lights out. You know, we had our, we all, you know, it's football, you had little rough starts every now and then, but when it come down to it, you gotta make plays, and defense been, for both of you guys, uh, Coach said he changed things up and you all had Friday off because you're going to practice tomorrow. But I guess did that maybe relax you not having to go to the hotel and not having to do a lot of that stuff? Was it a little more chill coming into the game for you guys or was it the same? It was about the same. I do the same thing every Friday night. I bring my Xbox to the hotel, play Xbox with the boys all night, and then we start to go to bed, go to bed. Yeah, the next, I mean, my preparation is the same almost every week. I don't really try to change anything. I'm kind of superstitious about that. So uh, I do the same thing every Friday night. I mean, it just gave me a little bit more time to play the games because we didn't have meetings. So I, mean, I was just chilling. I think my, my preparation for that, I got Trey Jackson as a roommate. So we sit there and tell jokes. And I'm not really going to talk about life a little bit. And, you know, that's kind of how my thing is you kind of bond with the guy that you're with. And relax, and kind of you know, tell them about your life, man, and really get into it. When the game time comes, you feel like you're a lot closer. I can trust this dude next to me. I can trust this guy who's behind me. I believe in you, you know. So that's the type of thing that we do. All right, let's go on. Good, thank you.